then I went to look for my curling iron and I literally could not find it anywhere. Like, where could it have gone? I was like, wait, if I take those mugshot pictures that everybody keeps doing, like, you know, that trend on TikTok, I don't really have to worry about doing my hair. So I went to mess up my makeup and I was like, wait, I actually put effort into my makeup today, but I messed it up anyways. <laughs> and then I looked a little crazy and I was like, I'm gonna take a picture against that wall. And my mom walked in with my curling iron because she found it. So I just curled my hair. I had the most whack, weirdest setup ever so I could take timed pictures, but they actually turned out really nice and they're on Instagram right now. You should go check them out. I just posted them. And then I went downstairs to show my parents my makeup and then they looked very disappointed and also very shocked. They were like, what is wrong? And I told them it was fake and my mom was making quesadillas. I saw a bowl of coleslaw, so I decided to eat that and I kind of looked like a goat. And I changed into PJs because why am I wearing normal clothes? It was literally just for a picture. And then it was nighttime and I was looking in my drawers again and I found this tanner that I got in my PO box and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a tattoo. I took this brush and I tried to draw it on my arm and the brush was way too thick and it looked like a poop stain. So then I got a tiny brush and I drew a little star and then I realized I could draw soup. So I tried to draw a bowl of soup and you can tell I'm not really an artist. But then I went to bed and I woke up in the morning and I went to check my tattoos and I, <laughs> there were there. It kind of looks like poop. I took two really hot potatoes that were just out of the oven because my grandma texted me her homemade gnocchi recipe and I was like, heck yeah, you only need four ingredients for this. I'm gonna make it. And the potatoes were really hot while I was peeling them. I probably should have waited. And then I tried to mash them and it was the hardest thing ever, but I finally got it. And then I made my mom do it. I'm sorry, mom. You just gotta take a pot and fill it with water. I filled it with water and honestly, I'm just really weak. Everything's really heavy for me. I was about to start mixing the dough, but I was like, wait, I should probably go wash my hands. So then I did that and then I took my egg. I cracked it, got egg juice all over my hand. I hate when that happens. And all you need is some gluten free flour that you spill literally all over the counter and then your mom gets really mad at you. I'm sorry, mom. Remember to add salt. It's very important. Honestly, really like mixing the dough. It's kind of like Play-Doh and I felt like a child. So I mixed all the dough, got it all together. And I cut that boy into quarters and then you roll them out into little long sticks. <laughs> cut them and then, oh, they're so cute. Throw them in the water. Just toss them right in. But also don't burn yourself. I burnt myself. It really hurt. Once they've been floating for two minutes, you put them in a hot pan full of olive oil. This is optional. You really don't have to do this, but I like crispy gnocchi. And then I put pesto on it and I pretended to flip it, but I actually can't flip it because I'm not a real chef. And I tried it and it was so good. Thank you, grandma. I was brushing my hair getting ready for the day and I looked outside because I heard some noises and there were some people outside and I realized it was my mom's birthday today. How could I almost forget? So I went to the fridge to grab some almond milk because I couldn't find freaking oat milk and then I found some pudding because I love chocolate pudding and um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make her pudding. I'm going to make her birthday pudding. It doesn't make any sense and there was almost no milk left. So I had to go grab some other milk, which was cashew milk. Not even oat milk. Where's the freaking oat milk? Then I added the chocolate pudding but kind of spilled it everywhere and then I accidentally dropped it into the freaking milk and it was all soggy and disgusting and then I grabbed the whisk and I just started whisking and then my mom freaking showed up for outside so I hugged her and said happy birthday and then I just whisked and whisked and whisked and, whisked, and it literally would not thicken it literally would not but it still tasted pretty good I read the instructions and said pudding does not thicken with milk alternative what the frick does that even mean basically made like a parfait when I layered strawberries and <laughs> they were really good and I layered just the pudding and the oreo crumbs and then I put it in the fridge I opened the fridge with my one finger it was kind of crazy and I ate the rest of the pudding on the floor my friend Will called me and told me he wanted to go get me soup so I went to his car and then we did a little soup review so go check it out on one fluence channel and then I went to grab my mom her parfait she loved it downtown looking for a shirt for Chris because he needed one and I was like let's go to Purr but then we realized it was only for women but then we went in anyways and I ended up finding a bunch of stuff while he just sat there. I found this really cute see-through raincoat thing even though it never rains here and then I found this cute little black shirt so I was like okay I'm gonna get both of them. Got my stuff from Purr and then we illegally crossed the road but it was okay because we made it and then we went to a place that was just for dudes. I got this blue shirt and I told him to try it on so we went to try it on and as I was looking on the store I saw these mannequins that were squatting against the wall and it reminded me of gym class and I hated that in gym class. He didn't love the shirt so then we decided to just go get snacks and we got some vegan meat, <laughs> some vegan cheese and then a bunch of more snacks i met a supporter and then i stole a little piece of spinach i don't think you're supposed to do that but i was really hungry whenever i eat spinach i swear i feel like a goat and then i looked for oat milk and they did not have oat milk it was really sad decided we were gonna make a bunch of nachos tonight so then i went to grab a pepper but then i realized it was a spicy pepper and i would have died if i actually grabbed that one so then we grabbed a green pepper and onion and then we got all of our stuff and we left and we started eating snacks on the way there we got back i started editing my youtube video for this week if you want to you can go check it out it's on my youtube channel right now i just posted it's basically a long version of these vlogs okay bye we're gonna get iced coffee today at Dunkin'. We were so excited, but it was also really cold outside and gloomy, and I had to run because I had socks on, and then I put shoes on, and we were ready to go. Then I met this 12-year-old, and I was like, oh my god, you have the same shoe size as me, and then I was like, whoa, we're the same height, too. What the heck? Then we went to Dunkin', and I was so excited because I had freaking oat milk. I was so excited. Andrew kept tapping on my shoulder and then I pretended to punch him and he actually fell. <laughs> then I got some iced oat milk latte thing. I tried to spray my straw at Allie, it didn't work. And then I tried it and I was like, whoa, I love this. Oat milk is superior. Then I put Allie's hair in a bun just like mine and we were twins. Then we signed a card for Andrew's birthday. I said, happy birthday, Squirt. Love you. Gonna eat all your donuts. <laughs> I tried to help blowing up balloons, but honestly, I could not tie a balloon for the life of me and then I accidentally let it go. I couldn't even tie a balloon and then 
12 year old toby tied it in like three seconds and i was like what the heck we got donuts and then there was a bunch of takis in a bowl with a spoon because you know the coronavirus and then there was pizza and then ali gave me some silly string and we were gonna go prank all the 12 year olds not gonna lie for a second i thought i was in jurassic park and i thought i was gonna die for about five minutes straight but then we went to take a group picture and then ali and i started spraying them all with silly string it was great this is what i wasn't expecting they all started spraying me with two whole cans of silly string it was great and then they sprayed air horns in my ear and honestly i wanted to cry a little bit not gonna lie I woke up this morning, I realized I haven't been wearing my retainer for the past like five days, so I grabbed it and I tried to put it in. It barely fit, but I kind of got it, and then I realized I had to go brush my teeth anyway, so I went to brush my teeth. Got my pink toothbrush, and I usually use charcoal toothpaste on my teeth, which is what makes them white, I'm pretty sure. And I tried to turn it on, and it would not turn on because it was dead, and then I realized my hair was really yellow. So I took my toothbrush and I went to charge it, and honestly, it's really weird. You charge it in this little cup thing. How does that even work? I don't know, whatever. So I took my yellow extensions and I decided to go tone them, so I got some purple shampoo. I toned them, and then I got ready, and I went downstairs. My mom making chocolate cookies! They looked so good, but I wanted chicken nuggets. Got these vegetarian buffalo fake chicken thingies and i accidentally poured them all onto the pan then i was reading the back and it turns out they're made out of apple what does that even mean how do you make apple taste like chicken i don't know but i put it in the oven and i put my mom's cookies in the oven the recipe for those are on her tiktok by the way and then i made a salad and i love this salad because it has seasoning in it but you got to shake the salad a and i offered my iguana some salad but he said no because he's not very healthy took her cookies out of the oven they were actually so freaking good and then 20 minutes later i forgot about my fake chicken nuggets turns out i overcooked them by like 15 minutes so they were really hot and also kind of dry but honestly not the worst in the kitchen looking at my phone and i was like oh my god we just reached 5.9 mil so i knew what i had to do we were almost at six mil i went to grab my oat milk because i freaking love oat milk and i found an oat milk ice cream recipe so then i started to make that and i tried oat milk it was really good and then we need some vanilla honey and salt that's a lot of salt but you don't need that much salt so then i added some vanilla i got some of the vanilla juice on my hand it didn't taste very good but a pinch of the pink salt and then some honey and then i put it on the burner and it was good to go i tasted it and i was like wait it was good but i kind of wanted to be chocolate ice cream so i grabbed some cocoa and then i poured way too much in my mom handed me a whisk though because she saw I was struggling and then I accidentally got some of the <laughs> milk in my eye, but it's okay. And then I tasted it. It was really hot, but it was really good. As I was mixing it, I looked over and she was making apple cinnamon pancakes. So as soon as my mixture thickened, I put it in a bowl and then it was steaming in the sink. So I gave myself a little facial and then I tried one of her pancakes and it was so good. And then I put plastic wrap all over uh, the ice cream mixture, ate my pancake, threw it outside overnight for it to chill. And I went upstairs and I looked down and I was like, wait, why am I wearing jeans? There's literally no point for this. What am I trying to prove? Nobody can even see me. So I put my peaches on. Ice cream mobile tomorrow. I was sitting in bed again, shocker, and then I asked you guys on Instagram what I should do, and you guys said, bathe my rat. So I ran downstairs, and I went to look in her bed, and she wasn't there, so I went to look at her second bed, and she was there. So I scooped her up from her bed and woke her up for her nap. Look at how sad she looks. I'm so sorry. And then I put her in the sink, and she looked very upset, so I just didn't bathe her. Then my iguana was at the door, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna bathe you. You just got back from being outside. And then he jumped down, and then he went to eat, so um, that didn't work either. I'm back on my phone, and one of you said, build a little house for my rat. And I was like, that is literally the best idea ever. So I ran upstairs, because I knew I had a box. Because my new extension just came in and then i emptied it and uh found some clips on the floor that i was about to throw away good thing i didn't throw them away i grabbed some duct tape and i ripped off the both ends of the box and i duct taped it back together and it tasted really bad but i got a little cute rat home so i ran downstairs to show her my new creation in her new home and she looked not impressed at all and little bear was way more interested in it anyway so then i asked him if he wanted to go in it and he was too fat to crawl in it so after that whole mess i just took the box and then i threw it in the recycling i mean i accidentally threw it in some bottles i'm sorry dad if you're watching <laughs> and i left it in the bottles ran upstairs and i went to bed I was like sound asleep at 8 30 in the morning and i heard my phone ringing and my mom was calling me so i answered and i was like yo what's up and she's like yo i'm here and i was like oh freak yeah you're coming over today so i took out my nasty retainer and i put it on my desk and it was right next to a peach pit because i ate a peach last night and i just like left the pit there so i drank some of my lemon cucumber water and i ran downstairs because i realized that my mom was just like waiting downstairs for me and then the elevator started taking like a bajillion years because it kept stopping on like almost every single floor and then i saw my mom there and then i saw that she also brought me coffee which was so sweet so we went back upstairs and she brought me chocolate chips oh my gosh she literally came with everything including oat milk i was so freaking shook and then we did a live stream on her account and we made banana pancakes gluten-free banana pancakes at that i haven't had these in a bajillion years and they were so freaking good oh my gosh i can't even i hope that you saw that live stream because i was literally in heaven and i was crying because those pancakes were so good and then i went and got ready then when i went outside i saw that my mom switched over my laundry for me which was so freaking sweet and then i looked over and i saw her red hoodie and i was like wow i'm kind of cold and i kind of need a hoodie and i don't have one so i wore her hoodie and then i was like oh wait i'm kind of hungry again so then i went and grabbed the rest of my cucumber and i grabbed some water too so i gave some water to my mom and then i ate the cucumber 
I was sitting in the kitchen and then my grandma texted me and she told me some gluten-free recipes that I should try because I think she knows that I'm bored. And then my mom pointed outside and she said, it's snowing, it looks really pretty, we should go take pictures. And what a good idea. So I ran upstairs and then I went to all of my laundry that I have not yet done and I got my necklace, my coat, and we were good to go. And then I just tied my shoe, that was beautiful. And then I ran outside. It was really cool outside. And it felt like I hadn't been outside in forever, but we took some really cute pictures for Instagram, so you should go check them out. Then my mom told me she was going to the grocery store, but I can't go because I'm self-isolating, so I had to go pick out my stuff online. I asked for her to pick up salad, and then I saw these bacon bits that actually don't contain meat, and I was like, whoa, pick those up, and she said yes. Then I saw that there was goat milk and buffalo milk. What the frick is buffalo milk? And then she left to the store with my list. I said goodbye, and then I just sat there for a little while. Okay, it was like 30 minutes. Then I heard the garage door open, my mom got home, and then I rushed downstairs because I was ready to eat some salad. I threw away the croutons and cheese though, kind of sad, I know. And then I poured in the dressing and the seasoning packet. The salad has really good seasoning. And then all you gotta do is shake it up. And it's like the best salad ever, not gonna lie. But sometimes when I eat salad, I feel like a goat. I looked at the recipe my grandma sent me for homemade gluten free gnocchi, so I decided to make that. But that's gonna be in my next vlog. Okay, love you, bye. I went to get my hair done today because my roots look really bad and my hair looks like straw. And whenever I get that blue stuff in my hair, it burns! And then I look like an egg when I'm getting my hair washed, but it was okay. After that appointment, I decided I'm gonna stop bleaching my hair though. So I got some shampoo, conditioner, and then I went to the store and got some vitamins that help you grow your hair. I even got that little pill case that my grandparents have, so it'll help me remember to take them. When I got home, there was a package at the door, so I was really excited I got it. And turns out it was a bunch of beef jerky. Thank you so much for sending me that. It literally made my day. Beef jerky is one of my favorite snacks ever. I gave one to my brother and he was really happy. I decided to be nice and share some with my dad, and he was so happy, and then I realized he's probably gonna eat all my jerky. It also came with socks, so I gave him the socks, and he put them on over his other socks, which didn't really make any sense, but okay. My mom made these healthy coconut flour biscuits, because apparently I can't have wheat anymore, and I tried it, and well, uh. After that, my friend Animal came to pick me up, and we went to Opa, because I wanted Caesar salad, but then we had to leave, because he wanted Subway, so I literally had to bring the Opa with me, and I spilled it all over his car, because he drives crazy! I then proceeded to bring my Greek food into Subway, Animal ordered his sandwich, and I finally got to eat my Caesar salad in peace. It was really good. Pretty sure the workers were judging me, but I mean, it, it's, it's okay. We're good. I was walking downstairs and then I looked up and I saw that there was like a big pot of soup on the stove so I went around to get it and yes I know I don't have any nails left and my mom made me soup it was so sweet I grabbed a bowl and then I scooped myself a lot of soup I patiently waited in front of the microwave for a minute and 21 seconds and then the bowl was extremely hot because you know how bowls be getting like that when you put them in the microwave and I tasted the soup and the soup was also extremely hot but really good thank you mom then I went outside to grab my ice cream mixture from yesterday because I had to keep it cool overnight apparently and then I realized that the whole ice cream maker we had was downstairs in the basement so I had to run to the basement. Basement scare me so I tried to make this part quick and then <laughs> frozen ice cream thing literally killed my hands because it was so cold but then we just cleaned it off and then I turned it on. I tried the ice cream base. It was really good. It kind of tasted just like chocolate pudding but it kind of looked like poop. This ice cream was for reaching 6 mil anyway so I was like okay I'm gonna add in some things. Why not? Raspberries and chocolate chips and then I tried those two things together and they were so good but then I chopped the raspberries, ate more raspberries, turned off the ice cream Maker and then put in all the ingredients and this is what it looked like it kind of looked like poop but oh my gosh it tasted so good I ate like half the ice cream within three minutes thank you so much for six minutes i love you i was sitting in bed doing some online shopping because it's all i do now and then i looked over and i think i saw a truck outside and i heard a truck outside so then i ran downstairs because i was like oh my gosh there's probably a package so i went to see what got dropped off and it was a giant box that said parachute and um it was for me it was not for my dad and he was kind of sad about it because i think he was expecting something but it's okay i do this thing where i online shop in the middle of the night and then i forget what i completely ordered and then it comes two weeks later anyways i got these sheets and then i ordered a bunch of towels for some reason i don't know they're really cute towels but i was like why did i order so many towels i panicked and didn't know what to do with them so then i just shoved them all under my bed then i was like oh i'm gonna put new nice fresh sheets on my bed so then i decided to clear my bed off and take everything off of it. It was really fun throwing blankets everywhere. Made a complete mess, but I love fresh sheets. So then I was opening them and uh, well, it turns out they are actually not just sheets. I just ordered two freaking pillowcases. It was too small to be a full thing of sheets, but I was very confused. I was like, wait, I literally remember ordering a full thing. Why would I just order pillowcases? So then I put my bed back and I got my laptop. I wanted to go check to see if the sheets have even come yet. So then I went to check and apparently I ordered a sham set. And I was like, what is a sham set? According to Google, a sham is a pillowcase. So I ordered two pillowcases for freaking $60. Good job, Daytree. Leaving the hotel and randomly Christian just started eating this orange and I was so confused but then I asked for a piece of the orange and then I ate it and it was really hard to get but uh it was okay. So we were checking out in the hotel lobby I saw this giant pillow thing so I had to go jump on it and sorry the front desk guy was glaring at me and then we ubered to the mall and then I was fixing my hair we decided to go get some tea I smelled my tea that I ordered and I was like this doesn't smell very good. I my straw perfectly at Christian's head and then I tried my tea and it was pretty good and then we saw some popcorn that was free and it was so good it was truffle popcorn best popcorn I've ever had. I went to buy a MacBook because you guys keep asking for more YouTube videos and it'd be better if I edited on there so I got it and the guy kept spelling my name wrong. It was really funny and then i got the macbook it was really heavy but oh it is so much easier to edit so if you want to you can go check out my recent youtube video i edited on the macbook it's really random but in part of the youtube video we ended up making some guacamole with some really good avocados and we made some nachos and oh my it was like a professional kitchen i felt like an actual chef so i put everything on these vegetarian nachos and then i tried it and it was really freaking good 
like, wow, my mirror is really freaking dirty. And I was like, oh, wait, I forgot to do my laundry. Now I have to wear shorts because none of my clothes are clean. I was like, this mirror is dirty, too. Guess I'm going to clean today. First, I was like, okay, let's do my laundry because I don't have any pants. And then I saw my rat and she smelled really bad. And I was like, okay, maybe you need a bath, too, with the laundry. I was kidding. I'd never do that. But I think she heard me and she took a lot of offense to it. Look at her just staring at me. Then I had to go to the basement because that's where our washers and basements kind of scare me. So I made this part really quick and I rushed in and I didn't separate any colors or anything because I never do that. And sometimes when I do laundry, I feel like a chef. I turned it on and then I ran back upstairs. I grabbed paper towel and I saw that there was cake. Why is there cake? And my dad told me it wasn't gluten free. So that kind of sucked. And I went to look for cleaner and then I saw something on the door and I was like, cat scratching at the door. So I was like, okay, I'll let you in. I hugged him and told him how much I loved him. I think he regretted wanting to come in. But he wanted to go to the basement. So I'm pretty sure he had to poop. Good luck. And I actually ran and went to grab the cleaner and I got the paper towel, ran upstairs. I saw my rat. She was looking very suspicious. Sprayed it all over my mirror and then I ended up cleaning it all. The cleaner kind of smelled like oranges. It was nice. And I cleaned a giant mirror and I'm pretty sure that I got some in my eyes, which is not good at all. But I mean, I'm okay now. And then I dusted on top of my TV and it was disgusting. How am I living like this? And I made my bed and we were good.